Hi friends, welcome to this special classroom series in which uh, I'll explain to you via a number of videos some concepts in the market in simple language. And today's concept is something which is very dear to me, which is options. Now what are options? Options are the most popular form of derivative products in India. There are two types of options, call option and put option. Let's look at the call option first. In a call option, you have an option if you're a buyer to buy a particular product, the underlying, it can be a stock, it can be an index, it can be a commodity, at the strike price that you're buying uh, from a second trader. And that second trader has an obligation to do that regardless of where the price moves. In the case of put option, an option buyer has an option to sell that stock or underlying at that strike price and the option seller has an obligation to buy it. Let's give an example. Suppose the stock trades at 100 rupees and option buyer buys a 100 rupee call of that stock. Now there are two scenarios. Scenario one, the stock goes to 120. In that case, for an option buyer, the market price is 120, but he has an option to buy it at 100 rupees. So obviously his gain is 20 rupees, 120 minus 100. And same is the loss for an option seller, 20 rupees. Scenario two, when the stock falls to say 80 rupees, in that case, the option buyer does not have to buy at 100 rupees because the market price is 80. The option buyer can simply say, okay, I'm not honoring this option. And the option seller has, you know, can do nothing about it. So in this case, the option buyer loses nothing and option seller also gains nothing. Now the obvious question is, why this discrepancy? And how to make up for that? To make up for that, the option seller charges the option buyer an upfront amount called option premium. Suppose in this case, at 100 rupees strike, it was 5 rupees. Now what happens? In first scenario, the, the, the gain for option buyer reduces from 20 rupees to 15 rupees. And obviously the loss for the uh, option seller is also 15 rupees. And in second case, when the, when the stock goes to 80, the option buyer still loses. What does he lose? That 5 rupee premium that he has paid and the option seller ends up making that 5 rupees. So what's the bottom line here? The bottom line is that for an option buyer, the risk is limited to the premium paid and the reward is unlimited. Whereas in the case of option seller, your risk is unlimited because the stock can go up by any time and your reward is limited to the amount of premium that you're pocketing. The obvious question that you'll ask is uh, that why is there so much discrepancy? Why is it loaded so much in favor of the option buyer? That's something that I'll explain in my next video.